Hello Walker Nuts, it's Tuesday. DFTV. As I was tumbling late last night, I came across some gifs. Where is it? Gifs. Uh, of Doctor Who and the latest episode and its ontological paradoxes. From this sparked interest comes this week's topic, uh, which luckily for you doesn't include much outside research. Um, it's ontological or bootstrap paradoxes and time travel. Okay, so the Wikipedia page defines a bootstrap paradox as a paradox of time travel in which information or objects can exist without having been created. After information or an object is sent back in time, it is recovered in the present and becomes the very object of information that was initially brought back in time in the first place. Here are a couple of examples that you will probably be familiar with. In SpongeBob, episode SB129, Squidward inadvertently travels into the prehistoric era and teaches the primitive the primitive ancestors of Spongebob and Patrick about jellyfishing. Since Squidward knew how to jellyfish from Spongebob and Patrick in present day, jellyfishing then becomes a bootstrap paradox. In the 2007 episode of Doctor Who, The Shakespeare Code, um, it's set in 1599, and there's a running joke where the doctor, in the presence of William Shakespeare, quotes lines from plays that Shakespeare has not yet written. And in each instance, Shakespeare comments that he likes that, and he might use it in some future work. Uh, the true origin of these lines uh, form a bootstrap paradox. So bootstrap paradoxes can be found everywhere in science fiction. And as much as I love watching them play out, these paradoxes cannot help but be contradictory in my head. Even if time travel did exist, how can you make something out of nothing? Even in terms of information. Doesn't there have to be a beginning for something to exist at all? I guess that's why time apparently isn't a straight line, but is really wibbly-wobbly. But my brain sure does like to play with time travel and these ontological loops. And speaking of time travel, a few scientists from Hong Kong recently discovered that nothing can travel faster than light, therefore seemingly proving that time travel can never exist. Anyway, all the links will be down there in the Chamber of Secrets for your viewing pleasure. Philosophize about these, if you will, this week. Please leave video responses and comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Alex, I'll see you tomorrow? Um... Sarah, nice topic, but don't take too long to read this note or you won't be able to finish this video.